Hello everybody, Nicholas Goss here, also in discussion creations, and today we're back in Minecraft Survival. The last time, we polished off some more advancements, and today, after a bit of delay, we're going to siege this bastion. Now, I'm not looking to fight all of the hoglins that are inside, no. I was looking to loot it of all its goods, and also do some more trappage. So very carefully enter the structure. I loot as many chests as I can while also not dying. There's a brute down there. He's gonna want to hurt me. An important thing here, is the key in avoiding damage, is to make sure that the mobs never have a straight on path to you. The way you do that is make a lot of broken pathways so they can't get across. So be very wary of your surroundings. There's a gold block down there. You gotta be very wary of your surroundings. So I'm gonna mark my path with torches. Is that is like safe enough? Let me just secure this by adding a wall. Make it more secure. Put that there. So the path links here. Now, even if you're wearing a gold chest plate. Do that, Piglin kid. Even if you're in a gold chest plate, Hoglin brutes will not hesitate to come after you. So be wary of that. Okay, so. Let's make a path right here. Everything's gonna be kicking in. Where are you? Piglin Kid, stop hurting yourself. You're making me paranoid. What is he? What? Did you fall in the lava or something? Good lord. Is that an arc gold block over there? Who is that? I think it would be a chest, actually. Sprint jump here. I can't. I can't sprint jump that because it's some salts in the way. So I move that. So I can path across that. Okay. So I can take a drink. Sure, I'm adequately hydrated. Here, maybe one clicking there. I think. I think the hoglins, the piglins might also get irritated if they see you break blackstone. So by the way, while I was, while I was prepping for this, my axe broke, so I made a new one. I also enchanted this, my iron pick here. I deposited my iron pick away, because I don't necessarily need that on me. This mission, so... Yeah, right there. Paranoid. I don't know when a Hawkman boot's gonna show up right next to me. Okay, yeah, it's a chest right there. A whole bunch of blocks in inventory. I put this back. So this, it's not immediately the lava sea. Let's make sure I've probably illuminated my path. Got the ambient gas noise. Very wary of your surroundings. There's a chest over there. That guy looks like he. I think that guy is stuck there. I'm just gonna block off you here. You don't see anything. Okay, there's nobody around. Patch it up because make me paranoid. Okay, nobody can hear this. Hey, diamond shovel. Nice. My inventory is full of much junk. Obsidian, I could take obsidian, even though I'm not going to end up needing it. So set down our shulker. I don't need a second second torches. Put away my original shovel. Extra arrows and obsidian. Okay, fire resist potions here for emergencies. 
this stuff. Okay, I'll leave the magma creams in there. Just put the pattern in the market. Place a single torch here to indicate that I've opened this chest. Get right, so that is clean. I also have a totem of them dying on me, just in case. So that I do know you have to have it in your sh offhand slot for it to work. It's clarifying that, it's, so it's in my hot bar. So it's the chest right down here. <laughs> but where are the chances that piglin brute is going to be able to get at me if I come down here? the chances that he could get unstuck. Is it, is it just, is it, why is there just a gold nugget down there? Uh. Oh. Did the, did the Pagan kid I heard die drop that? Yeah. Okay, there's also a zombie flesh here. Okay, I'll take that then. <laughs> Sorry. That brute is pretty much just watching this chest. He... Is it the same chest I just looted? He's gonna be able to see if I open it, logistically speaking. There's a chain here, that's nice. Can take that. I can take a chain for decor decorative purposes. Actually, I'm gonna put away a bit more. I find a safe spot to set down the shulker. on me for trapping purposes. Similar vein to what I did at the Wooden Mansion. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Very carefully make my way around. Is that a chest I opened? Oh, it's that shot I get in my head. Put it way as well. I don't... No, oh, this is a lantern here. I haven't been to this one. Close that door. Nobody can see me. Nobody. Hero brute, because I'm getting very close to the main structure now. Uh, I'm just gonna board this up. I don't know. I don't know what dicta dictates whether or not they can see you opening a chest. I'm just gonna be careful about it. Okay, what do you got? Get some bone blocks, some more iron, including an iron block, some iron nugs. Ancient debris. Oh man, lots of good stuff. We gotta dig around underground to find those. We stock away some more things here. Complete the extra iron, iron block, gold block. Ancient debris. That's good stuff right there. Advanced and made. Hidden in depths. Obtain ancient debris. Nice. I have a feeling someone might be upset at me in the background, but they just can't get at me. It's a possibility. I'm just arrange you so I know I've been in this chest. And mark it with a single torch. Okay. It's, pr it's a pretty good haul right there. Pretty good find. Kind of paranoid about those hoglins. I'm gonna take the lantern too. Lantern is good. Oh my god. That was very close. That was uncomfortably close, that sound I just heard. Hopefully they're not about to land right. Oh, it's right in my right ear. Hopefully they're not right about to land right on top of me. Let's just make our distance from that spot. Turn to a farther away locale. Where am I going? I'm going right here. I'm going right here. Ugh. Oh, I'm scared to the footsteps because I don't want to get knocked down. I have the fire resist potion on me. So, I turned right here too. I didn't even notice it was there. I'll take that. Take the lantern. Okay. I still have access to the chest that was just down casually, though. That that guy is watching. Uh, okay, just come back here. I'm, I'm paranoid. I 
guy over there might just see me. The baby piglin's hurting itself again. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Stand on elevated ground. So, reduce the chances of them getting at me. That guy can totally run over here if he wants, I think. Another diamond shovel. Some more gold. More iron nuggets and cooked pork chop for some reason. Why do you guys have that? Just eating your own kind or it is not originally your base? The ancient builder. It used to belong to the ancient builders, but you since evicted them, that was dangerous. Okay, make your way back. I think it's everything down here, so make a way back up to the roof. You strategize some more. I'm uncomfortable. A bit paranoid. Okay. Let's jump right here. Move around from here. This corner jumps, so they can't it's harder for them to make it around. Conscious Piglin right over there. You might get mad if he sees me interact with my shulker box. So I'm just gonna dip back. Hello, friend. Don't, don't mind, don't mind me. God, it scares me when they run. Just gonna pop back over here for a bit to do all my stuff away from all those guys. Put away the nuggets. Put away the. Shovel, put away the ingots. Seems pretty good so far. <laughs> okay, right then. So now I'm gonna try to jack into the big structure. So this is where this is where the strategy is gonna have to get serious. <laughs> While your baby piglins constantly hurting themselves in a distance. Thing here by making this be a sprint jump gate, so they can't fully cross that because they can't sprint jump. Patch up the floor here so it's safe to exist in this area. Intermediary, intermediary platform for us to hang out on. Light up a bit, make prevent you guys from spawning here. Alright, okay, so... The piglin brutes are just... trolling. <laughs> Would it be better to siege it from... I'm kinda closer from here, aren't I? <laughs> okay, right, so... Those guys are right there, so it's gonna be a bit risky... to get at them. I shouldn't be holding the shulker in my hot bar. That's dangerous. Put the fire potion in there. So we are going to jack up near to them. <laughs> Make a two wide staircase. <clears throat> Gonna be too wasteful. Cobblestone only brought so much of it. <laughs> so the piglin brutes. They have golden axes, which may not seem that threatening at first, but their innate melee damage can really mess you up. <clears throat> so do be careful of that. I'm surprised they haven't gotten pissed at me yet. Oh, there they've. The thing have detected me. I have noticed that I'm approaching you. Yeah, they have noticed me now. Thing is, though, they're not dumb enough to just straight up run off the ledge. So that's where we try to take advantage of their AI. So, let's see here. So you pull out trap doors. Set that up. See, we stand on that, please. And get. Oh, damn it. 
He's not close enough to the edge. Let's have another one. I didn't mean to place another trapdoor. <laughs> okay, well, that's a trapdoor lost, but now he's gone. You're just down there now. I'm gonna have to go down there to get you because you left. Set up the gate right here. Eh, well, don't set it too high. Set up a little gate here. And say goodbye to that trap door. I freaking hate that. How it goes goes off in random directions. There's still clearly guys around, so I'm not quite comfortable with going there. I could have done some off of them. I'll get rid of them. This warm box is not going to help me. I could have done that. Mm. <clears throat> so I'm not going to dip into the structure yet. I'm going to scan around the perimeter. I can hear them in there. That's just a regular guy. Even if the, the br brutes are actually trying to get at you, I don't think the regular guys will follow suit unless they're individually provo provoked. There are a lot of chests up here. Whoa! I've been the, I've been in an, uh, one of these structures before, but not one where there's not many, this many chests just like out in the open. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. See me. I wish for you to see me. I want you to see me so you can take the bait and step out to where you're vulnerable. <laughs> can I not get at me? Oh, here, let me help you. <laughs> Goodbye. Far enough forward. Wait, nope. There we go. He moved forward. Thank you. <laughs> nice. That's some more than we dealt with. <laughs> I'm gonna run on cobblestone here soon. Let's be very, very careful. Why is that stuff too, too tall? There's a regular guy there. It would be ideal to remove him from the premises. I said, I think the piglins do get unhappy if they see you break Blackstone. That's what I've heard, anyways. Right, just gonna safety cap this. Just feel more secure. Just sprint jump back there. So, just a regular guy. <laughs> Get him away or try to do anything. Hello, sir. Well, let me just. Can I... Could you allow me to remove you from the premises, please? I don't think there are any brutes up here. Still. He's too far too nearby here. <laughs> if we can pull out some gold, I can distract him. Uh, I just want to re remove you from the premises, please. Get in hole. Get in hole. There you go. Now he's probably fine then. Let's place a barrier here to make sure nobody can get at me. 
guess hopefully they won't be able to get at me. Okay. Beware of angry piglin noises. Three, two. Stop hurting yourself. Three, two, one. No angry noises. That seems good. Some good stuff in here. Hey, it's pig step. I've never gotten pig step before. Nice. Read the fast footsteps. Some more arrows. Some more iron nugs. Some more gold. Gilded blackstone, more obsidian, more chain. Oh, I'm full up. I need to deposit. Be wary. Put in the gold, put in the pig step, the gilded blackstone, obsidian, iron nugs, extra arrows. Okay. Chain, gold, more gold stuff. Almost close to filling this up already. Calling obsidian and a battering pattern for the snow. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use that, but still I'm gonna take it anyways. Okay, so that's, that's that one plundered. I'm gonna replace that with tra trap doors for now. Move the trap door over, in fact. That's that one. Taken. I don't think anyone can get me from this side. Hopefully. So, what do you got? Was that an anchor noise or was it just coincidental timing? So, a lot more obsidian. Some more arrows. Oh, yeah, the gold sword. Rock of iron. What is this? Soul speed. That's nice. And our pork shop. Yeah, I'll, e I'll eat that. And put your torch in front of you because I left a thing in there. Let's center that. Putting a bone, soul speed, iron block, extra arrows. Got a nice stock of extra arrows here. Okay. Carefully cross back over. Be wary of your surroundings. Got more crying obsidian, and our diamond shovel, or iron, or chain, or yellow backstone, on our ancient debris. Nice debris. <laughs> Actually, put the good stuff away. Like three diamond shovels. Let me set diamond shovels for a while. Nobody sees anything. Those footsteps are so close by, I'm paranoid. I don't know if they're gonna just walk up behind me and see me accessing a chest. Extra arrows. Gold. Iron. Ancient debris. I got two of those now. That's pretty good. I don't remember how many ingots those. I think it's only like. They give you a couple. I think it's just like. It is what you find in the depths. It just gives you a couple scrap. So it's gonna be turning it. can be combined with your things. here. Yep, start holding more potions out in the open. Get rid of this one block of assault. Somehow. It's pretty nice haul so far. Okay, let's put this here. But this is the gold of Blackstone, I believe. So, torch in front of it. Okay, right. It's nice little top floor loft looted. What's over this is just it just where the tower ends. <laughs> it's where it ends. It looks like it's gonna be a lot deeper than that. Okay, just 
Set down more blocks so you can't incidentally fall. <laughs> Set a block there. And that right there is just, just a chasm. Yeah, it could be a good advantage if anyone comes up here, starts chasing after me. You know, all these just go to the abyss, I guess. It's down to the lava sea. Just barricade those up to feel safer. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I'll leave that one open. Gonna okay, safely bridge cross back across the top here. Okay, so step back so wait. So it was just a lava sea in this side, right? It's just a lava sea. I could circle around with Redonia and scout out if there's any openings to chests on that side. Save a bit of blockage. Uh, right, cross the points right here. Dangerous! Ooh, that made me uncomfortable. I can't actually see anything else from this side. It might just be worth doing that, trying to get, do some visual scouting with Redonia. Hello guys, don't mind me. You s I may you spawn on the stairs here. Okay, let me light up the stairs. So we, uh, this guy's on the right there. Maybe the next time you despawn, you won't respawn there. Okay. So some slight ledge here. Light that up. Okay, so let's head back to Redonia and try to scout from the sea. Right, okay, back down here. Pick up our thing. Hey, Rudy. Get over to the barrier. Open it up. Okay, let's get going. So, we're gonna go around the other side of the bastion, take a look at it from out on the lava sea. See what we can see. I th wait, did I see another gold block? No, it's just, it's just a piglin's helmet. So we're gonna circle around to this side. So we got everything we can see out from this side, so. Scout from out here. No, there's a stack of striders right there. So from down here, I can't see anything on this side. The openings on this side. Very broken. There's a closures up. I presume, I presume that's where I just was. You can see my cobblestone up there. That's where I just was. A bunch of like non-flat wall here. Okay. Come on this side. Are they going to start following me too? Yeah. He's going to attract a band of friends here. Then can I see anything from this side? It might be just distinctly stuff inside the tower, but as it is, it's very dangerous to go poking around inside there. Because I won't be able to cordon off folks from me as easily. You know what? Maybe that's enough plundering for now. I've got I've got good stuff on me. Maybe that's enough. Give a quick peek over here though. Use anything of note. I, th I, think, I, think it's, I think it's good for our Bastion raid. So we, we, tricked, we tricked a handful of Piglin Brutes into the Lava Sea. Got some good loot on us. Two Agent Debris Blocks. I think it's pretty satisfactory, maybe. I didn't have to get my hands too dirty in any close encounters with the Piglins. You know what? I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with what I've got. Maybe a bit anticlimactic for you, but hey, I got what I was looking for. Alright then, it seems like a good time to make my way back home after... Should we... I can just go this way. So I'm done here. Make sure I got, I got my shulker. Okay, I didn't end up using the doors. I would have ended up using the doors if I had gone deeper into the structure. But I guess we're not going to do that. Don't placate it. I can use these doors elsewhere probably. 
So nice traveling to you, my little intrepid friend. I'm afraid is where our path together ends, at least for now. It's good working with you. I'm sorry you'll remain here in captivity as the world is deloaded from the RAM. I next exit the game. Not just how it is sometimes. Okay. So I guess I'll cut back to my home. I'll see you there. And we're back home safe and sound. It was not my nice little venture. So right, I got myself some good loot and I didn't end up using any of these potions. I just stick these back in here. Yeah, stick them back in here for storage. A little shulker. So we're gonna put that one back in as well. We got a good haul, so we got two Soul Speed 2 books. Okay, where, where was it that I stored in enchanted books? Was it in the loot chest up here? Yeah, Silk Touch, Flame, now two Soul Speeds. I think it's, I think it's you put it on your boots and it makes you walk faster over Soul Sand. I think that's what it is. It's a bit situational. So put this in here. Don't need on me anymore. Okay. So then, crawling obsidian. Where did I store that? Right here. Okay, so I can make a respawn anchor if I wanted to. What was the recipe? I'm not, I'm not gonna make another one, but just remind me what the recipe was. Let's see here. So six crying obsidian and three glowstone blocks. Okay. So, I could make another one if I wanted to. Yeah, and I didn't end up using this extra flint and steel. Which I think goes in the basement chest to leave for now. I think got some. Let's see here. I got the ores, so I got some gold. I think it was blackstone is basically just gold ore. Some gold nuggets, iron nuggets, iron, block of iron. Let's stock all this away. Do not need blocks of iron in storage. Let's do this. Need more ingots. Here. Actually, I can make two more blocks of this. What am I doing? There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. Gold blocks. It, yeah, this is basically. No. No, it's not gold ore. I thought it was basically another form of gold ore. What, what can you use it for then? Oh, this furnace recipes. What can you use Gilded Blackstone for then? Close that. What can you use it for then? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up real quick. I want to see here. Oh, okay, I see. It is, it is basically just gold ore, but if you retain it with Silk Touch, if I placed it down and broke it, I could get nuggets off of it. Let's see that then. So uh, let's let's place. These down in the cellar. So break these. They have a chance of breaking into nuggets. I got a six back there though. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So, okay. Fifteen nuggets. Whoa. One block broke into fifteen nuggets. Well, I didn't read that part on the wiki page. Whoops, dang it. Ugh, I broke my floor. Seriously? Uh, did I have any smooth... St of course, it's right in front of the door as well. Did I have any smooth stone hanging around? Any smooth stone at all? Here we go, fixed. Let's resume what we were doing then. This can break into a lot of nuggets if it does break into nuggets. I want to get a lot of nuggets. That's why it's so special. 
Okay, the only broken. Wait, do I already have nuggets on me, actually? Is that why I had so many in my pocket? Am I just delusional? Maybe I'm just delusional. So kind of, this is always kind of like breaking gravel over flint. Really, kind of. I got some more. Maybe I'm just delusional. So that I will break them all. Just to get all their... Oh, there goes that pickaxe. Well, I don't know, let's re-pick out my, my diamond pick. There we go. There we go. 32 gold nuggets. That's pretty good right there. Okay. Now I'm back to my diamond pick. Let's just store all these away then. Look at that hole right there. Gold and get some more gold stuff. So just, yeah, yeah, I'm running out of store. Now, Covini, they can make a whole block with what's left. That works out well. There we go. Probably this gold stuff in the cellar chest. There's my gold stock right here. Pretty decent. And sleep in my bed because now is proper night. Before we get out the rest of the stuff in the chest. That's right. Then there's banner power, and it is used with the loom. I don't have a loom around here. Still, though, it's a nice little thing to have. Probably wouldn't be too fond of snout powder either, so I'm probably not going to use it, but still, it's a nice thing to have. Put it in here, why not? In the mom drop chest. And see, gravity obsidian next. Obsidian. It's pretty good. 17. Added the pile. Some more chains. Do I have any stored around here? I don't think I do. I can use them to decorate a little bit. Oh, whoops. I've got to use a directional. It's like, what? This block chests. It doesn't. Let's put them in here then for aesthetics. I'm not going to stack many more chests here. Very nice. What else could be like the room as a lift? These chains are holding up on the four corners. Nice. Got these, all these iron nuggets on me. Chuck these away as well. You got a sock of 37 of those. And lanterns. Yeah. Let's take them up by the portal. Why not? Make it look extra nice. Go with my original iron shovel. Take out lots of bone blocks here. I have a local storage for those. Yeah, right here. Can take out the extra torches. Get lots of extra arrows and diamond shovels. I can use to replace my own shovel. What does this have again? Which just do I'm breaking to. I can see here. So arrows. Where do I put them? Yeah, I put them right here. Full extra stack of arrows here. I guess the I guess I'll put the uh, extra diamond shovels in the cellar chests, because there's so many of them. Put them right here in the gold chest, because why not? These extra diamond shovels. Very nice, very flush, plush. Let's put away this extra flint steel. I don't need it anymore. Put it back in the storage. Just asked about the ancient debris and pig step. Right. So, how do these work again? It's like you break. I just drop itself. I think I think you smelt these, and then they become the scraps. I think that's how it works. I think you do that, and it becomes netherite scraps. Let's finish smelting and pull it out. Now look in the recipe book again. That's scrap. Yeah, it must be unlocked netherite ingot. So how do you make netherite ingot? The last page. I think you might need to use the smithing table to make those. No, it's right here. So it's four scraps and four gold ingots. See, yeah, I don't I don't I have two scraps, so it's not really gonna amount to much. So though it's great that I have that. And that's everything then. Okay, alright then. Well I'll cut it off right there. Next, in between episodes, I'm going to need a little bit of work, 
because next episode is going to be the finale of this season, this series. So until then, my name is Agrista Gauss, with some Sketch and Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.